Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be walking through Kubester. So Kubester is a collection of tools to discover, validate and evaluate your Kubernetes storage options. Now I wrote about this um, quite some time back in, in March 2021. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a benchmarking tool for the storage layer that is being installed in your Kubernetes cluster. So it analyzes that, benchmarks it uh, against the number of parameters, FIO uh, parameters. And so you can see in the CNCF landscape, you have cloud native storage and it has grown over time. And the Kubester will be, you know, uh, evaluate the common benchmarking parameters using the FIO. So what we'll do is um, we'll walk through the complete process. So first, let's create a Kubernetes cluster called Kubester on CO Kubernetes. Create the cluster. Now, while the cluster is getting created, um, we can see on the releases page. So this is the latest release of Kubester. So it's cast on um, uh, Kubester on the Git repository. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, and uh, you have uh, Kubester 04.31 uh, as the latest version. And if you see over here, I already have downloaded this particular uh, release. So we have Kubester help. You can uh, browse the contents of uh, a PVC via the file browser. And the CSI uh, check is for the snapshot restore check. Like if your underlying storage supports snapshot, then it will check that. And FIU tests are the uh, benchmark tests. So the Kubernetes cluster is ready. And I have taken this uh, kubeconfig file and uh, put that in a Linux server. So you can see kubectl get nodes is there. And uh, now if I do kubectl get storage class, so I have two storage class over there. Uh, one is the CBO volume, uh, which is uh, our default one. And one is local path that comes pre-default with Brancher K3S. Now let's run Kubester. So now when we ran Kubester, uh, it checks for the storage classes. Uh, so storage class is local path, storage class is CO volume, and we can run the FIO uh, benchmarks against this particular storage class. So let's run the uh, Kubester FIO test against a CO volume. So it's Kubester FIO storage class then CO volume, and we'll give a 10 gigs of uh, volume for that. So it is creating a PVC. It created a pod and it has started running the FIO test on the storage class with a PVC of size 10 gigs. So after some time, you'll get the results from the FIO uh, Kubester benchmark and um, uh, you can kind of read the results. So uh, you have the read IOPS and the write IOPS. So IOPS basically means input output uh, operations per second. It is um, um, the measurement of how many IO operations can any device can handle in a second. And it is uh, mostly for the smaller IO chunks like the 4K. And then um, you are having uh, after the read write IOPS, the read write bandwidth, and uh, bandwidth is is uh, the throughput and the measurement of data uh, that the device uh, read write in a second, and it is for the bigger IO chunks like 128k. So that's how you can read the results, and you can also uh, let's say we want to test this against another storage class, which is a local path. And it will do the same thing, uh, create the PVC, create the pod and run, run the benchmark tests. And then you can compare with both the storage classes. So this is how you'll be able to compare uh, the results from the storage classes present in the Kubernetes cluster. And you can see the FIO tests have already started uh, with the storage class local path of a PVC size 10 gigs. So you can have different um, uh, gigabyte size. Uh, you can also output the result in the JSON format and uh, these are the uh, results for that. So we'll be having the kind of read IOPS, write IOPS, read bandwidth, write bandwidth. And you can bring your own um, configuration as well, uh, your own FIO configuration as well. So if I go to Kubester FIO help, um, uh, you can see we can give the own uh, FIO configuration. Uh, we can give the namespace, the size already I showed you and uh, the output can be as JSON. So this is how you can run the test against the storage classes. 
Now, apart from uh, the FIO benchmark, uh, the FIO test, there are other stuffs that you can do with Cubester, like the browse, browse the contents of CSI PVC, uh, CSI check uh, that runs a snapshot restore check. So this is pretty interesting that whether your snapshot restore is working uh, with respect to a storage solutions that you have installed. So for this, uh, there has to be a snapshot uh, available for the storage class. So for this, we'll install Longhorn. So the Longhorn is getting installed. So we can see uh, that the Longhorn is installed. And if you run Cubester again, um, it will do the checks for all the classes uh, and for the Longhorn. And it says that it can't find the CSI snapshot um, for this particular driver. Now we have to do some additional steps to uh, enable this. So let's do that. And for this, we'll be using uh, the external snapshotter repository uh, in the Kubernetes main repo. And the custom resources have been created. And now we'll install the uh, common snapshot controller. And it's created. And now we'll create a Longhorn class, snapshot class. And now let's try to run Cubester again. So we can see uh, that we have a Longhorn snapshot class available and we can run a CSI check against this particular class. So let's run the Cubester CSI check against Longhorn. But before that, uh, we also need to set up a backup target inside Longhorn. So we'll install a menu for that so that we can use it as a target. Now, after creating the menu target, we need to set it up in, in the Longhorn as well. So we'll see we have a Longhorn front end. It's a cluster IP. So we'll change that to node port as we have to access that, or we can create the ingress for this. But let's do the easy way. Well, let's try to access the service. So this is our Longhorn. And let's go to settings, general, control F, backup. And here we define the backup target. Now for this, we can go to the documentation and for setup local testing backup restore, uh, you can set this as the backup target and a secret, which is menu secret. You can also see uh, like kubectl get secrets hyphen all grep menu that it is created yes it is created and click save and now since our kubernetes did not come with a snapshot controller we have already installed the snapshot controller um, that i have shown you but in the documentation also if you want to see uh, this is where uh, you have to do uh, you have to clone this repository external snapshotter and apply this particular crd and also the snapshot controller and then we created this particular snapshot class and now we are ready to run our CSI check against this particular storage, which is Longhorn. Let's run Cubester CSI check with the Longhorn snapshot class and the volume. So you can see uh, what it is doing is it is creating the application. Uh, so it created the pod and then it created the PVC and then it is taking the snapshot. And after taking the snapshot, it is saying that the snapshot is uh, created. And after that, uh, it will be restoring that particular snapshot. And we can also see in the Longhorn UI uh, that, you know, there was a backup that was created and it has restored the pod and the PVC and cleaning up the resources as well. So CSI application successfully snapshotted and restored. So this was the second uh, uh, test that we did using Cubester. So cube stir help so you can see uh, we have tested fio we have tested csi check now let's see what browse has so for this particular demo we'll be using uh, one of the tasks uh, which is uh, configure a pod to use a persistent volume for storage uh, let's copy the persistent volume claim 
eipvc.yaml and in the storage class name let's give longhorn cdl by hyphen f pvc tube cdl get pvc tube cdl get pv so everything is created now let's create a pod tube cdl get pods pod is container creating and the pod is running so now we can actually run uh, the kubester uh, final command which is the browse command so let's run that we need to provide the pvc name and the uh, volume snapshot class so cube stir browse task pv claim and volume snapshot classes longhorn So the kubester browse command is first taking the snapshot and after that it is creating the file browser uh, application and it is uh, port forwarding to localhost 8080 on the server uh, now this is the command that i ran uh, so that i can access uh, the remote localhost to my localhost uh, so you can see uh, this is the localhost 8080 files and uh, uh, you can see like you know my files and you can actually create a folder uh, create a new file and these other settings for that so I think um, this is pretty interesting and I can uh, actually see the file browser of the PVC. So this is what uh, actually Kubester uh, can do. You can see kubester.io, which is there. And uh, these are all the commands that we just saw. So I hope you liked the video um, on Kubester. So Kubester is a benchmarking tool. Uh, you can actually run a bunch of stuff with Kubester, which is a cube help uh, so we saw the kubester browse the csi check the fio for the benchmarking uh, so all these you can actually run uh, against a cluster in this particular video the cluster used for siva kubernetes we used uh, local path we used a uh, siva volume uh, and we also used uh, longhorn for the csi check and browse uh, for browsing the pvc so I hope you like the video uh, and please like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like. And um, uh, thank you all. See you in the next video walkthrough.